love your neighbor as yourself. Because that was one of the laws God said you need to do. We're going to keep that, right? Because we're still dealing with the well, kingdom of heaven. You, you out here, you tell me. Okay, so you do want to know. You do want to know. Okay, all praise to the most high. So we're going to get that scripture. How do you love your neighbor as yourself? Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Leviticus 19, 17. If you got to, write it down. Come on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Let's pay attention. You understand? Let's pay attention. Listen very carefully. Come on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke. Rebuke thy neighbor. Now, who's your neighbor. This is how you love your. I'm glad you said that. You said um, I'm terrible with names. Bro. <laughs> who's your I remember neighbor? your face, Thomas. but I'm Tep Thomas. Who's okay. your neighbor? All right, Thomas Hargrove. That's right. That's right. So we're gonna find out who your neighbor is. Let's read it from the top again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. You shall not hate your brother in your heart. You shall in any wise rebuke your neighbor. So rebuke means to correct. You correct your brother. That's right. Your neighbor is your brother. Right. Now, to get some clarification, we keep going. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. And not suffer sin upon him. So we have to have some recollection of what sin is. What is sin, Mimi? This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing? What about you, D, right? What's sin? That you met your way. Chilling. Chilling. What about you, Ali? Breaking the laws. Breaking the laws, right? Yes, okay. All praise. Let's see if the Bible says that. Hold that. Let's get First John. First John. Go ahead. Chapter three and verse four. First John, chapter three and verse four. If you got it, it's in the New Testament. Write it down. Read. Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. For sin is sin is. The transgression of the law. The transgression of the law. Uh-oh. So one of the things is this. One of the things is this. A lot of times when we go to church on Sundays, we don't get the laws of God. So you know what? We don't know them, right? Right? So the thing is, is this. To know that we're in sin, we will have to know the laws. So the thing is, is that to have an understanding of the law, you can understand how to stop sinning. So who have sinned? All right. Everyone has sinned. You understand? But the thing is this, we need to get back to where we need to go. All right, so wait a, wait a minute, Thomas. Wait a minute. Exactly. You know what? And the thing is, is this, Thomas. You know that, right? Hey, I don't want to be on camera. I'm on the contract. Thomas, that's fine. All right, keep, keep, it, on, keep it on me or, or anybody else. Thomas don't want to be on camera, okay? So the, the thing is, is this, Thomas. The thing is, is this. I ain't fussing with you, man. I, I know, I know. But you know what? We always hear that in churches, right? We all shall fall short of the glory of God. So, if I ask you right now, Thomas, what, what are one of the laws of God that you are breaking? Can you identify one? You understand what I'm saying, Thomas? But how to stop sinning is how to uh, uh, start keeping God's laws. You finish that up? Let's get back to Leviticus. Come on. Leviticus chapter 19. And then we're going to go back to Matthews, okay? So, we needed some understanding of the scriptures before we moved forward. Come on. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 18. Come on. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So you shouldn't avenge or bear any grudge against the children of your people. Your brother does you something wrong, you're supposed to correct your brother. But you don't go to him for blood. You understand? You don't go to him to get back at him. Oh, he did this to me. Now I'm going to do this to him. You're not supposed to do an eye for an eye, two for a two. Bring it up. You understand? Yes, sir. You love your neighbor as yourself. Your neighbor is your brethren. Yes, your people. Right. Come on. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Mm. There you go right there. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So now we have an understanding of what the Bible's saying when it says you shall love your neighbor as yourself. We say that a lot in church and a lot of the officers are bringing that out. But there's no understanding given of what that law means. You understand that, Thomas? Now when you, yeah. Now All right, when so you, let's when go you back. Guys came here, did you research before you come into this neighborhood? We have brothers that live here. That's okay. So, okay. So, if, of course, if like if, if we talk to this, if we had a brother that talked to the person that's in this establishment and he made it okay for us to be here, then that's fine. But the thing is, is this, Thomas, if you see us on the street and you come up, you're not going to know that information. You're not privy to that information, right? That contract is between us and that brother in there. You understand that? So you're not going to be privy to that, okay? 
So come on, let's read. I ain't gonna make you mad. But, right, right. I mean, it's, it's not to make it. It's no emotion in it, Thomas. The thing is, is this. The Bible tells us to cry aloud. Spare not, lift up our voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions. So what we do is we show our people where they're going off. You know why? Because we were once there, Thomas. We were once there, D, Mimi, Ali. We were once there. You understand? Come on. Hey, nobody's talking to black and white. Nobody's talking. Hey, bro. This thing is this. Thing is this. Nobody's talking about black and white things. Bro, the thing is, is this. Yo, you have people that are from the tribe of Judah that look like the so-called white man. You have people of the tribe of Judah that look like the Chinese man. But the thing is, is this, it's about the seed of your father. But the thing is, is what you have to understand is this. What color is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit? What color is it? You know what the Holy Spirit is? We're going to find out what the Holy Spirit is, okay? And then we're going to go back to Matthews, okay? Because we're dealing with the kingdom of heaven, right? We got off because you're like, okay, we need to explain some things going no, forward, up? right? So give me, the, uh, give me that, and then uh, let's go back to Matthew 19. Acts chapter 7 and verse 51. Come on. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart. So let's listen. Let's listen. We're in the book of Acts, New Testament, right? It says ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised at heart. What does that mean? That means your heart's not changed yeah. and you're stiff neck. That means if I'm telling you, hey, go this way, you like, uh, uh, your neck is not turning in the direction that you need to go. So we have to tell people that have been stiffened in one direction, hey, thus said the Lord, this is the way to go. You understand? Yeah. Come on. In heart and in and ears. In heart, in your mind and your ears. You hear something's contrary to the doctrine that you learned your whole life and hey, it sounds off. But hey, what we want you to do is examine it. That's why you get flyers. Hey, grab your Bible, go through your Bible, take notes, examine everything that we say. Because we're going to say what thus said the Lord, not out of our own emotions or feelings. Right. Come on. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. So listen, Thomas, it said you always do resist what? Resist the Holy Ghost. Hey, you stiff neck and heart and ears, you always resist the Holy Ghost. So it's going to explain what the Holy Ghost is is come on as your fathers did as your fathers did so your fathers are who 12 tribes of israel yes. moses said they're going to slavery on slave ships right. said your enemy will put a yoke of iron upon their necks it's the children of israel it hadn't changed yes. read so do ye so do ye as your fathers did so do ye so you have a son thomas if you had a son and be like you know what as thomas did so do you as your father did, so do you, Daryl, uh, whatever his name may be. Come on. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? Which, which one of the prophets have not your people persecuted or killed for trying to teach them, trying to warn them, trying to tell them where they were wrong, where they were going off at? Come on. And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one. So, hey, as our forefathers told, Christ was coming to save our people to redeem them out of bondage. Those same people that Christ came to save were the same people that killed him. That's right. So, hey, the thing is, is that we don't expect nothing different. The thing is, is this. We love you. That's why we're here. Right. We love you. We want to correct you. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's why we're here. Right. That's why you see us in Spartanburg, South Carolina. You understand? Or wherever we're scattered. Go ahead. Of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. Come on. Who have received the law. Who received what? The law. Who have received what? The law. The laws of God. Come on. By the disposition of angels. By the messengers. The disposition of angels. Come on. And have not kept it. And have not kept it. So sisters, right now we're dealing with the kingdom of heaven. Right? What's your name? Sutasia. Sutasia? What's your name, sis? Lili. Lili. Lili, Sutasia. Mimi. D. Uh, Ali is gone. Thomas. All right? Let's go back to Matthews, come on. So the law, hey, there you go. Ali over there, he's still listening. Hey, that brother in the spirit. All oh, praise to the most high. That brother in the spirit. Go ahead. Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 20. Go ahead. The young man saith unto him, uh -huh. All these things have I kept from my youth up. Come on. What lack I yet? Come on, so Christ is examining this young brother. 
He said, hey, I kept all the commandments. Hey, how do I get the kingdom of heaven? Keep the commandments. He said, I've done all these things since my youth. What do I now need to do? Come on. Jesus said unto him, if thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast uh -huh. and give to the poor. So if you want to be perfect, sell what you have and give to the poor. One of the things the brother was lacking is taking care of his people, supporting his people. You understand that? That's what he was lacking. He had great, but he stored it up for himself. You understand? Is that the end of that? No, sir. Come on. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven. So you give to your people, you do for your people, you serve your people, you should have treasures in heaven. You understand? And that's what we're here to do. You understand that, Mimi? You're like you're enjoying it. All praise to the most high. All right, so let's get Acts chapter 1 and verse 6. Get Acts chapter 1 verse 6 So the thing is this We have to realize we're looking for the kingdom of heaven Right? But we need to know something About the kingdom of heaven Who is it for? We say hey, if I was to get the kingdom, keep the commandments So who is the kingdom for? Read that Acts chapter 1 and verse 6 Come on. When they therefore were come together uh -huh. They asked him So they asked Christ When he came back, he resurrected They asked Christ, come on Saying Lord Wilt thou, wilt thou at this time, wilt thou at this time, right now, today, restore again? When you restore something, you do what? When someone's restored, uh, what's your name, sis? One more time. Sutasia. 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 Lily. I know Lily. All right? Sutasia and Lily. So, what does it mean to restore something? I see. I ain't forget you, brother. <laughs> what does it mean to restore? What does it mean, Ali, to restore something? Say again. To renew. Renew? You renew, you restore it, you give it back, right? All right, so it says, read it again. When they therefore were come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time, wilt thou at this time, Restore again. Return the kingdom to. The kingdom to Israel. To who? To Israel. To who? To Israel. To who? To Israel. The 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Israel. New Testament. Uh-oh. Somebody was taught wrong. He repeats the word. Revelations. Revelations chapter 7. Bring it up. Verse 3. Bring it up. So we're going to find out about this kingdom of heaven. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Because we think, hey, it's for everybody. Everyone say it's for everybody. No. The disciples say, hey, Christ, are you going to now, at this day, return the kingdom unto Israel? So this kingdom that this Bible is talking about is for the children of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You understand? We say so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans because those people went through these things. Those people were scattered on the transatlantic slave trade, doing the transatlantic slave trade. You understand? Come on. Revelation chapter 7 and verse 3. Go ahead. Saying, hurt not the earth. Hurt not the earth. Come on. Neither the sea. So this is the destruction that's coming in the last days. We're in the last days, right? Right? Hey, we know we know Russia's getting ready. Russia got bombs that the U.S. can't, can't destroy right now. Bombs that if they shoot off right now, the U.S. has no defense for it. None. China's getting ready. You understand? All these different nations are getting ready. What are we doing? Chilling. Chilling. Watching the NBA, uh, NBA finals. That's what our mind is on. It's not on God's laws and commandments. Come on. Saying, hurt not the earth. Come on. Neither the sea. Come on. Nor the trees. Uh huh. Till we have sealed. Till we have done what? Sealed. Till we have sealed. Uh huh. The servants of our God in their foreheads. Till we have sealed the servants of God in their foreheads. So what's the seal, Shutasia? What's the seal that we have to have in our foreheads? You don't know? Lily, what is it? You don't know? All right, so we have to learn what this seal is. Hold that, let's get that. Let's get Isaiah chapter 8, verse 16. Go Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 16. Bind up the testimony. Seal the law. Seal what? Seal the law uh -huh. among my disciples. Seal the law among my disciples. So those that are going to be saved from the destruction will have to be sealed with the laws of God. That's right. Sealed with the laws of God mean they have to be in your mind. So, Lily, uh, uh, Sutasia. Sutasia, Lily. All right. Ali's still up there chilling. 
All right, so let's find out one of God's laws. First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. All right. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. That ye are the temple of God. Come on, your body is God's temple. Go ahead. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. And the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Come on. If any man defile the temple of God. If any man defile the temple of God. So, Sutasia, how, how you defile the temple of God? When, when you came up, and I'm telling you this because I love you. When you came up, you had a cigarette in your hand. You were smoking, right? You understand? I know that is one way to defile your temple. Smoking. I used to smoke. You understand? So the thing is, is this. You cook in your insides. You don't know that. But you're cooking your inside. You're killing yourself. You put tar, all type of bacteria in your body. That's the foul of your temple. You understand that? So we have to stop doing those things so that we can be well. We can get sealed with the laws of God. You understand that? So we can make it into the kingdom of God. Okay? You understand that, Lila? That makes sense? All right, let's finish that up. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So if you defile your temple, most high God will kill you. Right. Most high God will kill you. That's right. The creator of the heavens and earth. Do you want that, Sutaja? You don't want God to kill you, right? So that's why we have to keep God's laws. Come on. For the temple of God is holy. For the temple of God is holy. So, Mimi, what is holy? According to the Bible, what is holy? I guess no sin, right? No sin? Okay, okay. Okay, we can roll with that. All right, so let's get that in Romans. Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Come on. Wherefore, the law is holy. Hey, Shalom, sis. How you doing? You know your children of Israel? You know that you're God's chosen people? Come on. Wherefore, the law is holy. Hey, bro, you ever heard this before? You ever heard? Right now, we're showing what is holy according to the Bible. You understand? For those that are holy, most High God will not destroy we're going to find out what holy is according to the Bible. Read. Wherefore, the law is holy. The laws of God are holy. Come on. And the commandment holy. And the commandment holy. And just. And just. And good. And good. And good. Go back to Revelations. Revelation chapter 7 and verse 3. Come on. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Uh, to we sealed the service of God in their forehead with the laws. Come on. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. So this is the number of those that are going to be sealed. Come on. And there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand. hundred and forty and four thousand. Of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of all the tribes of the children of Israel. That's these men of the tribes of Israel, 144,000, be sealed with the laws of God in their foreheads. That's right. That would be a drastic change on this earth. That would bring a kingdom upon this earth. You don't understand that? And that kingdom is for Israel. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.